Hey there, and welcome to Constructing Drummers, Building Blocks of Solid Drumming. If you're just getting started on the drum set or you're finding you're running into all kinds of mountains down the road when you get into harder styles and you just don't know how to get over those humps, Sometimes backtracking or starting from the right place is what you need, okay? And that's what we're gonna do in this video series that takes 10 videos at a time. It's three different courses, and we encourage you to walk through them in order one by one. The first thing we're gonna look at is the wrist, then the elbow, then the finger. 10 videos on the wrist, 10 videos on the elbow, 10 videos on the finger. The wrist is where control happens. We learn to control this stick and tell it what to do first. Then we move to the elbow and we train that stick how to be powerful. We want to pop those drums. We want to give it versatile range so we can play anything loud and soft that might be put before us. Our very last step is to introduce us to the fingers, which produces the speed. It's what everybody wants, but everybody tries to do it in the wrong way. They try to make speed happen with the wrist and they get tensed up, and they get injured, they get tired. Or they'll try to make power happen with the fingers and that's not the way it's supposed to work. And this is, leads to people getting stuck in ruts, not able to get over speed bumps and kind of reaching places in their playing where either as a beginner they can't really seem to get better or as an intermediate to an advanced, they just get to some places where they just can't seem to move on. And what we do when we're failing in basketball, we come back to what? Dribble, pass, shoot, the fundamentals. You will be incredible if you walk through this series. I'm looking forward to seeing and hearing you drum. Let's go. We're going to have a lot of fun.